So yeah, you let me know. You're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Yeah. Uh, happy Resurrection Day. Amen. Yeah. Or Sunday. Amen. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Feliz Día de Pascua. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. 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 Yeah. So praise God. Are you ready? Amen. Amen. All those of you that are joining us by audio video, prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. And uh, we're not going to hold you long uh, because I don't know if I can stay long. <laughs> 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 I'm going to break down, you know. We're celebrating the risen Savior. Amen. amen. So praise yeah. God. Amen. And that's what our message is about. He has risen. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. So you prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Yeah. Be encouraged. Be uh, blessed. Be changed. And be corrected. Amen. So yes. get yourselves ready to receive what God has yeah. for you. Amen. Glory. Praise God. Praise he wants God. to bless you all the time. Amen. Yes, and uh, whoo, hallelujah. Amen. Uh, say this with me. Let me grab my Bible. Say it with me. Say, this is my Bible? This is my Bible. I, ha I have what it says I have. I have what I have. No, let me start all over again. <laughs> this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind's alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. That's all right. Praise God. We ain't perfect. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And thank you for joining us today. Amen. Amen. Thank you. For, hallelujah. And uh, we're excited. I don't know about you, but uh, I'm excited. Yes. You know why? Because ha, he's risen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but he has risen. Amen. Yes. We serve a risen Savior. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Happy Resurrection or Easter Sunday to you. Amen. Amen. Uh, Feliz Dia de Pascua. The Bible said he is not here. He has risen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Lord, Listen. Yeah. He has seated. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand yes. of the Father. Amen. Amen. And that's a place of authority. Yes, but not is. only that, he said he's interceding for us. Yes. Amen. Yes. So he's not forgotten about us. Right. Amen. So Jesus is the reason for the resurrection season. Amen. Yes. Just like he's the reason for the Christmas season. Yes. Well, he's the reason for this resurrection yes. season. Amen. We serve a risen Savior. Amen. 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 You remember that. Yes. Amen. Because we forget about that all the time. Mm -hmm. Our God is risen. Yes. Our God yes. is alive. Amen. Yes, yes. And we're going to be talking Hallelujah. about that in a few minutes. Woo. Praise God. So guess what? He not only uh, rose, he's, he, he descended and went and he got the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Yes, yes. Amen. He went and walked through there and got all the saints to yes, go with him. Amen. amen. So amen. praise God. Jesus is awesome. Yes, amen. Yes. Jesus is the reason for this season. And blood he shed uh, and life he gave for us to be saved. Amen. Ooh, I'm excited. You know, if you never ask Jesus to come to your heart, this is the time. Yes, yes amen. amen. This is the day. Yes. Amen. Don't put it off any longer. This is the day. Just say, Lord Jesus, uh, forgive me. I've sinned against you. Forgive me. Uh, I repent. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. And start this new life. Amen. He's got something special for you. Amen. Amen. He's got something special for you. Yes, he, he put does. you here for a reason. He put yes, you here to win. And yes. he put you here to fulfill whatever plan, whatever gifts he's given you. Yes. Amen. Yes. So, ooh, hallelujah. I'm excited. Amen. Amen. So anyway, the four Gospels record the account. Amen. In Matthew, Mark, Luke, and uh, John. Yes. He's not here. He has risen. So here we go. Happy Resurrection Day. Keep going, Carmen. Resurrection Lord. Sunday. The day yes. that changed everything. Yes, <laughs> Hallelujah. Keep yes, going. There we go. Jesus Christ, our Lord, has risen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Nobody else can say that. But he has risen. Amen. Amen. Right. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Go to the first uh, scripture. We got a few text uh, scriptures. Here we go. Well, first of all, for uh, John 3, chapter 3, verse 16 and 17 says, For God so loved the world that uh -huh. he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever yes. believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting yes. life. Yes. And verse 17 says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him may yes. be saved. Amen. Right. John 10, 10 tells us that the enemy comes to what? Steal, kill, kill, destroy. destroy. He said, But I come that you might have life, life. and have it more abundantly. abundantly. Amen. Amen. So, <laughs> he wants to bless you. Yes, and he wants you to be a blessing. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Don't, don't believe all the negative things about it. Keep going, Kurt. 
Uh, Matthew 28, 5 and 6 is our text. But the angel said to this woman, to the woman, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, uh -huh. who was crucified. This yeah. angel knows. He's got all the information. <laughs> fresh from heaven. <laughs> he said, he said he, he's not here. He, what, he's what? As he's risen. risen. He's risen. Amen. <laughs> Just as he has said, uh -huh. he said, he kept saying, you know, he's coming back. Yes. He's, he'll rise. He says, you know, they'll crucify him and they'll put him down. But you know what? He's going to rise anyway. And the next one. I think there's a couple of each. It's, it's just a, a different one. It says, do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus, who was crucified. He's not here. For he has risen, as he said. Matthew, uh, verse 28, 5 and 6. You might write this down and go check it for yourself. But Matthew 28, 5 and 6, and the Bible says, he has risen. Amen. That's our message for today. Yes. We serve a risen Savior. Yes. He has risen. Yes. Amen. How many other gods or how many other uh, so-called gods have risen? None of them. Yes. Amen. And I'll give you some names here in a minute. Keep going, Carmen. Here we go. Mark 16, 16, 6 says, Do not be afraid. Ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. Uh -huh. He is not here. He has risen. Yes. Amen. He has risen. Well, we got to get this, yes. church. Amen. We got to get this. Ooh. Amen. We Amen. are on a winning team. We've been yes. talking about being positive uh -huh. in, in a negative world. Yeah. You know? And uh, we got to stay positive. Why? Yes. Because we're on a winning team. That's right. Amen. And <laughs> there's no time to be negative. Amen. It's time to be positive. And it's time to go right. out. Amen. Ooh. When you spend time with him in the mornings, prepare yourselves and say, Lord, thank you. If you have nothing, well, I don't want to get too far on sale. But anyway, just say thank you. Yes. Amen. If you if you don't have nothing else to say, just say thank you. Amen. Yes. So Amen. praise God. Yes. One more, Carmen. Praise God. Here we go. Luke 24, 5 and 6 says, Why do you look for the living among the dead? Uh -huh. He is not here. He has risen. Amen. You understand? Uh -huh. He is risen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. We're going to read the story in a few minutes. But he is not here. He has risen. He took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Yes. Revelations 1.18, uh, New King James says, I am he who lived and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Yeah. Amen. And I have the keys of hell and death. Yes. Amen. He took that from the enemy. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. He is seated at the right hand of, uh, of the Father, a place of authority, and he's interceding for us. You know, yes. if you think that you're always by yourself, you're not, because right. he is with us all yeah, the time. Yeah. He never leaves you nor forsakes Lord. you, amen? The footprint says, you know, hey, there was two sets of prints, uh -huh. but now I see one set. Uh -huh. He left me. No, he was carrying you, yeah. Yeah. amen, until we come to our senses and realize, yes. huh, wow, mm. thank you, Father, amen? Yeah. He cares for us so much. Yeah. Romans 8.34 says this, who is he who condemns? Is it Christ who died? Mm. And furthermore, it's also risen. Yes. Who is even at the right hand of God, uh -huh. who also makes intercession for us? Amen. 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 So he didn't forget about you. That's You're right. not by yourself. That's you know, right. once you know whose you are mm -hmm. and who's backing you, mm -hmm. you'd be like David facing these giants in the world. Amen. Yeah. David knew when he faced Goliath. Uh -huh. And you need to know this before you face any giants out there in the world. Yeah. <laughs> you can't face them by yourself. That's right. And it's a spiritual battle. Amen. Yeah. And you got to get the word in you. When you get the word in you, amen, the Bible says we're going to walk by faith and not uh -huh. by sight. That's amen. Right. We're going to walk by faith and not by fear. Right. Amen. Yeah. You don't have to fear anything. He's not giving you a spirit of fear. That's He's giving you a spirit of power yeah. and of love yeah. and of a sound mind. That's right. Amen. That's but right. we need to get it in us mm -hmm. so that we can speak it out. Yes. Amen. When you get that word in you and we get yeah. the seed, the word yeah. seed in you, it's going to grow and it's going to come out. Yes. Amen. You, Ooh, praise God. I don't know about you, but I'm blessed already. Amen. <laughs> you, Ephesians 1 and 20. Whew. If you want to get high, get high on the most high. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ephesians 1 and 20 says, Which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in heavenly places. Amen. He wants to seat you in the right places. Amen. Yeah. He wants to send you to the right places. Yeah. But you know what? You got to know the truth because yeah. it's the truth that's going to set you yeah. free from all these negative mindsets that's people right. have been saying about you. 
That's it. Amen. You know what you do when you get the word of God in you? Mm -hmm. You're going to forget and delete all these negative things yeah. people have been saying about you. Yeah. And just know what God says about you. Amen. Know what he believes about you. Yes. And then when you see yourself in the mirror, mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to tell this person, <laughs> you're a child of God. Amen. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Yes. You're excited. Yes. I'm excited. Praise, Praise God. God. Colossians 3 and 1 says, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above yes. where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Yes. This is the only place in the Bible, and I wanted to share it with you, but in Acts 7, 5, 55 and, and 16, 56, in the uh, NIV says that Stephen, a man of God, yes. was stoned. Mm -hmm. The Bible says Jesus was seated, seated at the right hand of God, but in this case right here, it says, but Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked mm -hmm. to the heavens and saw the glory of God. Yes. Jesus seated at the right hand of God, but in this case, Jesus was standing. He yes. stood up. He stands up for you. Amen. Yes. He stood up for this child of God, this man of God. Amen. He stood for him. He says, look, he says, I see heaven open and the mm -hmm. Son of Man is standing, yes. standing at the right hand of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's standing. He wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you. Yes. He Amen. wants to send you and say, you know what? You can do all things through all me. All things. I am with you. I never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. So Resurrection Sunday is not about <laughs> the Easter bunnies or the Easter <laughs> eggs <laughs> or the Easter baskets. Amen. It's celebrating the, ra the rising of our Lord and Savior Amen. Jesus Christ from the dead. Amen. That's what Easter's all about, you know. <laughs> I don't want to get into that other stuff, but, uh, you know, we need to teach our children this. And, and uh, Robert tells us to train your children the way they should go. And when they're old, they won't get old, they, they won't leave this. Amen. Right. But we need to teach them the right thing. You know, I don't care if you go and hunt Easter eggs afterwards, but know that your children know, Amen, <laughs> why we're celebrating this. Yes. Because Jesus rose. It's not because you got bunny rabbits and you got Easter eggs all over the place. <laughs> or because it's Christmas and Santa Claus is coming to bring you some gifts. No. Jesus is the reason for the uh -huh. season. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. I was going to tell you this to start, and now I'm going to tell it to you. Sunday school teacher. It's a funny. You better laugh, okay? <laughs> <laughs> third grade teacher finished telling her third graders that Jesus was crucified and placed in a tomb. Amen. A great stone was sealing the uh, opening. So she's sharing this with them, you know? And she says, okay, who can tell me what was the first words Jesus said when he got uh, out of the tomb? And this one little girl in the back, boy, she raised her hand and stood up, and boy, she wanted to get the teacher's attention. <laughs> and she says, okay, Mary, you've got the answer. What is it? She says, she says ta-da! <laughs> All right. <laughs> ta-da! Jesus rose from the dead. <laughs> you know, we need to do that on a daily basis, you know? The Bible says in, in Psalms 118.24, this is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. Rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Ta-da! You know, <laughs> mostly, most important is, is your first miracle of the day. Uh -huh. Why? Because your eyes were open. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, he... He woke you up. Yes. Amen. So thank you, Jesus. Ta -da, I love you. I thank you. Amen. That I woke up this morning. You know, why be yes. sad about it? And why, you know, uh, don't worry about if it's raining outside, snowing outside, or what the weather is like outside, or circumstances are. He woke you up. And guess what? He's sending you on a mission every day. Amen. But the Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens yes, you. Yes, amen. 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 So guess what? This little uh, third grader knew <laughs> and excited about, man, she will just jumped up and says, I know, I know. You know, well, you know, when you get excited about the word of God and you know where you're going, nothing can defeat you. That's amen. Right. Amen. 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 Get excited for him and go and do mm -hmm. what he's called you to do. But we have to get excited about it. Amen. Rejoice and be glad in this day that he's given you. To go out there and be a winner, not a loser. To go out there and be positive and not negative. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Come Lord, on. Come on now. <laughs> Believers. Um, yeah. 
I wrote this. The resurrection of Jesus was indeed a ta-da. <laughs> Amen. Believers can uh, celebrate his res resurrection not once a year. We celebrate Easter or Resurrection Sunday uh -huh. once a year, but we can celebrate his celebration, celebrate his resurrection daily. You know, you can just wake up and just say thank you. You know, yes. the price he paid. You know, we we haven't got there yet, but uh, John three sixteen is one of our scriptures. For God so loved the world. Amen. For God so loved the world, he gave, he sacrificed his only yes. begotten son. Amen. Yes. That's how much he loved us. So on a daily basis, just celebrate Jesus' resurrection. Thank yes. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Woo. And Lord. you know what? This kind of love is called agape love. love. Yes. Unconditional love. Yes. Amen. There's no condition. It's unconditional. Mm -hmm. He just wanted to win his people back. Amen. Yes. Celebrate with an attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Celebrate with an attitude of thanksgiving. Woo. Come on now. Yeah. Remember, Jesus is the reason for this yeah. resurrection season. Yeah. Remember, yeah. he Lord. is our living and victorious Savior and King yes. of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. <laughs> Remember that he paid the price in full. Yes. Amen. He yes, paid Lord. a full price. So again, Matthew 28, 6 says, he's not here. He's risen. And he said he's coming. See the place where the Lord laid. Yes. Amen. He's not here in prison. I had the privilege. Mm -hmm. I had the privilege when I was going through Bible school before I got ordained to go to Israel. And I enjoyed this trip to Israel. And guess what? I've been to the tomb. <laughs> and I went to a lot of places where Jesus walked and visited. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, if you ever get a chance to go, it's a great place to go. Amen. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a great trip. Amen. You learn. And it's, it's awesome. I've been at the tomb. I've been inside. I've been outside. And guess what? He's not there. <laughs> <laughs> right. the, the, the tomb is empty, as the Bible yeah. tells us. Amen. The word tells us he's risen. So guess yes. what? He's risen. Yes. The world tries to prove, but they can't explain. Uh -huh. They try to prove it wrong, but they can't explain it. Mm. Amen. So he's risen. The world, yes. Easter is just another holiday. Huh. A three-day weekend, mm. lots of fun, no work, mm. maybe some with pay, time <laughs> off, <laughs> part time, party time, party time, entertainment, food, barbecues, <laughs> traveling, vacations, <laughs> Easter break, used to be called Easter break, now it's uh -huh. called spring break. Spring break. Huh? <laughs> the spring break now, you know, hey, we got to get this break. Easter out for there, you know, we, we'll just call it uh, a spring break. Yeah. But you know, this is why the world likes it. Hey, another four day weekend or three day weekend. Uh -huh. and, you know, we get time off, you know, hey, and we, it, it's, it's great, we like it. Resurrection to believers is this. Jesus raising from the dead. <laughs> Jesus paying the price in full. And that's what John 3.16 is. Somewhere in there, Carmen, it's uh, John 3.16. But John 3.16, for God so loved his people the world yeah. that he gave, <laughs> sacrificed his only begotten yeah. son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting yes. life. Amen. <laughs> Agape love. Yeah. Celebrate the resurrection daily. We're talking about believers now. Uh, yeah. Amen. That's you and me. Mm. Amen. We're believing and we're yeah. thanking him Thank on a daily basis, not once in a while, you know, but all the time, daily. Yes. Victory over death, hell, and the grave. Uh -huh. Salvation. Listen, salvation. Some of you that are watching, some of you that are listening. Salvation is a free gift. Yes, yeah. it is. God sacrificed yeah. his son for your salvation. Yes. And all you have to do is receive him. He's not yes. going to force himself on you. That's right. But you have to receive him and yes. just say, Lord, I've done wrong. I've mm -hmm. sinned. He knows that already. Yeah. <laughs> just confess <laughs> it to him and say, I repent. You yes. know, come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And he will. Amen. He won't turn you away. That's you know, right. I don't care who, what so-and-so said. I don't care what people said. I don't care who told you what, that yeah. he don't want you, that he's just pushed you off. No, he didn't. Mm -mm. He wants you. Yes, he, he sacrificed does. his son for you. Amen? Yeah. He sacrificed his son for us. Right. Yeah. Amen? Praise God. And he put you, he set you on this mission, and he wants you to fulfill and be a winner and fulfill yes. and complete your mission. 
Amen. Amen. He don't want you to stop. He don't want you to just sit on the sidelines and do yeah, nothing. Right. Just, right. just uh, spectate and judge. Uh -uh. And, and no, uh -uh. he don't want you to do that. No. He wants you to be involved. Yes, he right. Get involved. Get, you know, it's called commitment. Yes. Commit yourself. Amen. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm putting your hand with me now. <laughs> <laughs> Salvation is a free gift. Let's go to Romans. Well, that's my first scripture. Mm -hmm. uh, so those of you that are watching, listening. Yes. This is a good uh, a good uh, verse. Romans 10 and 9. 10, 9 and 10. Uh -huh. It says, if thou, yes. well, this King James, if you, thou shalt confess with thy mouth, yes, the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, uh -huh. thou shalt be saved. You, know, yes. you need to know this so if somebody, anybody, or so-and-so says you can't be saved, it's wrong. Yes. He says you, you will be saved. Yes, and verse 10 says, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, uh -huh. but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yes. Amen. So you can be saved Thank also. Lord. Amen. So just get away. <laughs> get away from, from the losing team and get on God's winning team. Yes. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. <clears throat> Praise, Praise God. God. Thank you, Jesus. So confess, believe, and uh, receive them. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know, a lot of people say this, and uh, I understand what they're trying to say, but, you know, I found Jesus. Huh? I want to let you know Jesus was never lost. Right. We were lost. Yeah. We, we were lost. Yeah. <laughs> he found us. Amen. We confess him as Lord and Savior. So yes. begin a new life, Amen. a better life with him. Amen. Yes. Let's go to say uh, Corinthians 5 and 17. Mm -hmm. Amen. A new life. Listen to this. Yes. And you need to get this. Amen. Yes. You need to get this. 517 says what? Therefore, if any man, you can put your name there. You know, yeah. I've told you this. I haven't told you this in a while, but personalize the Bible. You know where it says, I, you, whatever. Uh, if, if any man, mm -hmm. scratch that man and put your name there. <laughs> personalize it. Underline it. Yeah. You know, uh, just make it fit. It says, if any man be in Christ, yeah. what? He is a new, new creature. 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 Old things are what? Passed away. Passed away. And behold, all oh, things have become yeah. new. So you know what? When you confess him as your Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. now you're a child of God. Yes. Amen. And now your past is gone. Yes. So when the enemy, the devil comes, or family or friends come oh. and say the old things about you, you say, you know what? That's the old me. Yep. Yeah. Okay? That's the old me. And you know what? I confess it to God. So if you have problems with that, you go talk to him. Yes. Amen. But he yes. says, all things have become new. He says, all, uh, and all things are of God and hath uh, reconciled us to himself by Christ Jesus and hath given us the ministry of reconciliation. Uh -huh. Well, God, you waiting for God's calling? Well, here's your calling right here. <laughs> You're a minister of reconciliation. Yes. Bringing people to Christ. Yes. Amen. Bringing the good news to our lost world. Bringing the, the, the light of God to a dark world. <laughs> Amen. But you have a mission to do. Amen. Not only that, but it also says to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their uh, trespasses unto them and hath committed us unto uh, the word of reconciliation. And verse 20 says, now that we are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ stand by ye reconciled to God. Be. You be reconciled to God. Yes. You are an ambassador for God. Yeah. You, are, you are his mouthpiece here on the earth. Yes. You know, he's the head, we're his body. Mm -hmm. You know what the body is? The body is the church. We are the church. Not this building we assemble ourselves together mm -hmm. in, but we are the body of Christ. Yeah. We are the church of God going out there into the world, reconciling people to him. Yeah. And you have you are his ambassador, mm -hmm. and you have the mouth, and you have the words that yes. you need to speak and, and get out for Amen. people to understand yes. and come to Christ. Amen? Yes. And just like he brought you, he can bring them also. Yes. Amen? Confess him as Lord and Savior. Amen. <laughs>
Praise God. Amen. So you're a new creature in Christ. Yes. And you know, after you confess him, you don't have to call yourself a sinner from now on. Oh, Just you're a child of God. Yes. Yes. Because he calls us children. Mm -hmm. We're his children now. Mm -hmm. Amen. So don't go over the rest of the world calling you or the rest of the time calling yourself a sinner. Because you're not. If you've confessed him as Lord and Savior, you're now a child of God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Woo. Praise God. Glory. Oh, People's worldly gods and heroes like Muhammad, mm -hmm. <laughs> Buddha, Allah, Confucius, mm -hmm. Hitler, Joseph Smith, Jim Jones, or David Koresh. Mm -hmm. Guess what? They've all died yeah. and mm -hmm. they're still dead. Yes. Yeah, None of them have ever raised from the dead. <laughs> but our God, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> he rose from the dead. Yeah. That's what we celebrate yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. We serve a risen Savior. Yes, he Amen. Is. We yeah. sang a, a song this morning. Yes. Yes. He lives. Yes. And he lives. Amen. We serve yes. him. Amen. Oh. I'm excited. I don't know about you. Man. Yes, amen. 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 I'm going to thank our praise team, you know, because they've always lead us right into the throne room. Amen. amen. And if you, uh, for any reasons, bypass praise and worship at any time, you know, you just don't. Because it's time for you, you know, to go into the throne room uh, of God, you know, just singing his hymns, you know, and just say, oh, hallelujah, you know. This is yeah. great to praise and worship him, yeah. your, your God, what he's done for you, amen. amen. So if you've been bypassing that, don't bypass it anymore. That's right. Or, you know, if you're even if you're by yourself, yeah. you yourself, just sing some hymns unto him, you know, yeah. and just say, yeah. you know, thank you. Thank you, thank you, amen. And, uh, Go in there and just singing and worth praising and worshiping your name. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Jesus died but rose on the third day. We serve a risen Savior. Yeah. A risen King. A risen Lord. Psalms 118. Again, 118 says, mm -hmm. This is your first miracle of the day you woke up. <laughs> Amen. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice. We says we will rejoice and be glad in it. Uh -huh. But you can scratch that and just say, I will. Yeah. Jose will. Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 So, you know what? <laughs> when people come around, wherever you work or wherever you go to, people come around and say, man, it's a bad day out there. You know, yeah. it's, it's raining, it's snowing, <laughs> whatever is going on out there, you know. This is happening, that's happening. Uh -huh. You don't take that. You just rejoice and be glad. God has yeah. given me a new day to serve him. Yeah. Maybe you need to. Maybe you have a word for them and let them know, <laughs> you know, I, I serve a risen Savior. Mm -hmm. And he's given me this day. And I just want to say, I'm going to rejoice and be glad yeah. for this day he's given me. You yeah. know, because I woke up this morning. Yes. Amen. Yes. And they woke up this morning. They woke yeah. up co uh, complaining, hmm. co confessing the negative things. Yes. You know, we don't have to do that. Wrong Amen. Wrong. And just because they're doing that, don't mean you have mm -hmm. to join them in. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Here's another thing to rejoice. Jesus says in John 14, 6, says, Jesus told him, I am the way, yes. the truth, and the life. Yes. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. me. That's Amen. It. Nobody it's goes to the Nobody. Father except through me. Amen. So whatever you were born, raised, or ra raised believing, you know, it's time to change. Yeah. Because Amen. the word of God tells us the only way to the Father is through Jesus. Yes. No other way. <laughs> no other way. So praise God. No one can come to the Father except through me. Mm -hmm. mm, hallelujah. So you know what? Mm -hmm. He wants to correct us. Mm -hmm. Whatever your your beliefs are, you know, mm -hmm. he wants to correct us. He wants you to know this is the right way. Yes, not your way. Lord. Not any other way. Mm -hmm. Not the traditional way, but God's way. Amen. Mm -hmm. People ask <clears throat> why the stone was rolled away. I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The stone was rolled away. <laughs> The stone was rolled away, not for Jesus to get out. Mm -hmm. He didn't need the stone to roll, be rolled away That's for right. him to get out. He could have just walked through it. <laughs> yeah. But the stone was rolled away so they could have proof that he's uh -huh. going over there. Yeah. And then that's the first, that's the main reason they put this big, heavy stone in front of it. Yes. So make sure nobody would go in there and take the body away. Uh -huh. And then they say, well, you know, hey, he's gone. He's risen. No. They sealed it well. You know, but guess what? He wasn't there. So the stone was rolled 
It took some heavy, yeah. pretty strong uh, uh, angels to move it out. Huh. <laughs> it's a heavy thing. You know, yeah. it wasn't a, a light thing. It was a heavy That's thing. Right. Yes, it was. The stone was rolled away so that we could, have, could look and see mm. the tomb was empty, yes. made visible for all to have proof. He's not there. That's right. Amen. So Amen. I want you to know this. The tomb is the greatest evidence. The resurrection of Jesus. He lives mm -hmm. today and he lives forevermore. Yes. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Thank Praise you, Lord, God. for Thank you, Jesus. this day. Yes. So critics have tried and, ex and ex to explain, but uh -huh. guess what? They haven't been able to. No. They won't never be able to. Mm -mm. <laughs> hallelujah. Praise yeah. God. Thank you, Father. And thank you, Jesus. And of yes. course, that led me to John 3.16. All right. But we've already gone through that. What else we got, Carmen? <laughs> Happy <laughs> Easter. <laughs> John 11, 24, 25, 26. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the yes. life. He who believeth in me will live even though he dies. Yes. And whoever lives and believes in me mm -hmm. will never die. We have eternal life. You know, when you receive him, we have eternal life through him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, keep going. He said he's risen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You know, go, can we go back one? <clears throat> yes. No. Keep forward. Go forward. Forward. You see. Uh, no, back, right there, right there. <laughs> you see, you see this slide. Can you see this slide? Uh -huh. And you see Jesus on the cross. Uh -huh. I just want to let you know, he's no longer on the cross. I just right. want to give you this. <laughs> he's no longer on the cross. Uh -huh. So you know, I have a cross. I'm wearing a cross, mm -hmm. but I don't wear a cross with Jesus on the cross anymore. Amen. I wear a cross without Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. It still reminds me of the cross, but I don't have to have him crucified every time to remind me. Yeah. He's in heaven now. All right. Amen. He's yes. in heaven. Amen. He's no longer crucified. He's, Amen. Here's another cross. <laughs> He's no longer yes, yes. on the cross anymore. No longer on the cross. I don't have to go through, remind me of his death all the time. Yes. Amen. I know I see an empty cross. Because Jesus is not there. That's His place right. is in heaven. Yes. Seated at the right hand of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. He ascended to heaven. He rose. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. So praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to read you uh, the resurrection story right quick. And you just follow along. Um, if you want to, you can go to John 20. John. Chapter 20, verses 1 through 31. And I'm going to read it out of the New Living Translation. So you can follow along with yours. Amen. Praise God. Sorry about that, Carmen. She was all over the place. <laughs> John 20, what now? Uh, chapter 20, verses 1 through 31. Oh. And mine's going to be a little different than yours. <clears throat> it starts off like this. An empty tomb. It says, early on Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found the stone had been rolled away uh -huh. from the entrance. She ran and found Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved. Yes. She says, they have taken the, the Lord's body out of the tomb, mm -hmm. and we don't know where they put, put him. Mm. So Peter and the other disciple started out for the tomb. Mm. They were both running. But the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He stood and looked in and saw the linen wrappings laying there. But he didn't go in. But Simon Peter, he arrived and he went inside. He also noticed the linen uh, wrappings lying there. Mm -hmm. While the cloth that had covered Jesus' head was folded up and lying apart from the other wrappings. Then the disciples who had reached the tomb first also went in and saw and believed. Mm -hmm. For until then, they still hadn't understood the scriptures that said Jesus must rise from the dead. Mm -hmm. And they went home. Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene. <clears throat> Mary was standing outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she stood and looked in. She saw two white-robed angels mm -hmm. sitting 
at the head mm -hmm. and the other at the foot of the place where mm -hmm. the body of Jesus had been yes. laying. Dear women, dear woman, why are you crying? The angel asked yeah. her. Because they have taken away my Lord. Mm -hmm. She replied, and I don't know where they have put him. Verse 14 says, she turned to leave and saw someone standing there. Mm. It was Jesus. Mm. But she didn't recognize him. Dear woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked her. Mm. Why are you looking for her? What are you looking for? Who are you looking for? She, she thought he was a gardener. Mm. Sir, she says, if you have taken him away, tell me where you put him and I will go and get him. Mm. says Mary Jesus said mm -hmm. she turned to him and cried out Rabbi which in Hebrew means teacher don't cling to touch me he says I haven't yet ascended to the father mm -hmm. but go find your brothers and tell them I, have ascended, I am ascending to the father and your father and to my God and your God Mary found the disciples and told them, I have seen the Lord. Mm. Then she gave them his message. <clears throat> Verse 19 says, That Sunday evening, the disciples were meeting behind locked doors <laughs> <laughs> because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders. Mm. Suddenly, Jesus is standing among them. Mm. <laughs> Peace be with you, he says. As he spoke, he showed them the wounds in his hands mm -hmm. and the side, and they were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. <laughs> Again, he said, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. Yes. <laughs> so those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, mm -hmm. God is sending you. Yes. Amen. You're that special. You're, that, you're a child of God, and he's sending you. He put you on this mission trip. And he wants you to go. He says, mm -hmm. I'm sending you. Yes. So you know, the calling you have on your life is from God. Yes. Amen. You don't have to worry about being approved by the world or called by the world. They are jealous. They don't want you to do anything. <laughs> they want you to fail. Yeah. Okay? God wants you to succeed. Amen. God wants you to be a winner. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> says, I'm sending you. And you can scratch that you and just put your name there. Oh, yeah. Amen. Include yourself. Lord. Then he breathed on them and says, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sin, they are forgiven. Mm -hmm. If you don't forgive them, they are not forgiven. Mm -hmm. 24 says, One of the twelve disciples, Thomas, nicknamed the twin, was not with the others when Jesus came. Mm -hmm. They told him, We have seen the Lord. But he replied, I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands and put my fingers through them and place my hand on the side, on the wound side, on the wound in his side. So eight days later, the disciples were again together. And this time Thomas was with them. The doors were locked again, but suddenly as before, Jesus was standing among them. Peace be with you, he said. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Then Jesus said to Thomas, put your fingers here mm -hmm. and look at my hand. Mm -hmm. Put your hand into my wound on the side. Don't be faithless any longer. Mm -hmm. Believe. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my God, Thomas explained. Mm -hmm. And Jesus told him, you believe because you have seen. Mm -hmm. Blessed are those who believe without seeing. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's us. Amen. We read about it, but we need to take the word of God and yes. believe what the word of God says. Right, it right. says the truth is going to set you mm -hmm. free. Mm -hmm. Amen. So yes. now you know what the word of God says, yes. you know, and you bring oh. this word into the world. Yes. And you bring Jesus to the world. Amen. Yes. So they can be Lord. set free. So yes. praise God. <laughs> so blessed are those who believe and don't see. Mm. <clears throat> The disciples saw Jesus do many other miracle signs in addition to the ones recorded in this book. Mm -hmm. But these are written so that you might continue to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, yes, yes. 
Yes. And that by believing in him, you will have life yes. by the power of his name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's equipped Praise us. God. He's equipped us. He's anointed yes. us. He's yes. called us and sent us on this mission. Amen. Yes. So you. I want you to know from this day on, you know, mm -hmm. that he has called you. Yes. Amen. And you're special to him. And he's not, you're not by yourself. He's with us all the time. Amen. So praise God. And I just want to read a little thing here uh, that talks about the napkin so that you can understand the customs. The Gospel of John 27 at verse uh, chapter 20 verse 7 tells us that the napkin which was placed over the face of Jesus was not just thrown aside like the grave clothes. The Bible takes an entire verse to tell us that the napkin was neatly folded and was placed yeah. at the head of the stony coffin. Yeah. Each early Sunday morning while it was still dark, Mag Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found that the stone had been rolled away mm -hmm. from the entrance. She ran and told Simon Peter and the other disciples of whom Jesus loved. She says, they have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb, and I don't know where they put him. Peter and the other disciples ran to the tomb to see. The other disciples outran Peter. <laughs> well, Peter's a slow one. <clears throat> and they got there first. <laughs> he stood and looked in and saw the linen cloth laying there, but he didn't go in. Then Simon Peter arrived and went inside, and he noticed that the linen wrappings were lying there, while the cloth that covered Jesus' head was folded up and lying on the side. It is, is that important? Absolutely. This is what it means. In order to understand the significance of the folding napkin, you have to understand a little bit about Hebrew traditions of that day. The folded napkin had to do with the master and the servant. Mm. And every Jewish boy knew the tradition. When the servant set the table, the dinner table for the master, he made sure that it was exactly the way the master wanted it. Mm. The table was furnished perfectly, and then the servant would wait just out of sight until the master had finished eating. And the servant would, wouldn't dare touch the table until the master was finished. Mm. Now, if the master was done eating, he would rise from the table, wipe his fingers, his mouth, and clean his beard, mm. and would wad up the, the napkin and toss it into the uh, the table, the servant would then know to clear the table. Mm. For those days, the wadded napkin meant, I am done. Mm -hmm. But if the master got up from the table and folded the napkin and laid it beside his plate, the servant would not dare touch the table because the folded napkin meant, I am coming back. Mm. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus has been telling us, the word of God tells us that he's coming back. Yes. He's risen and he's coming back. Amen. So no, we, we prepare for everything, you know, hey, the coronavirus, you know, and we're preparing and, and going through all kinds of changes, you know. Mm -hmm. The flu season's coming, we prepare for the flu season. Mm -hmm. Whatever season's coming, mm -hmm. the Christmas season's coming, we prepare for it. <laughs> Whatever season it is, we prepare for it. Mm -hmm. Jesus has been telling us that he's coming back. He's coming and we don't even prepare for him. Mm -hmm. We just just put it, put it by, you know, put it aside, you know, mm. just forget about it and forget about him. Jesus is coming back, church. Yes, he is. Whether you believe it or not, but if you believe in his word, you know that yes. he is coming back. Amen. Thank so praise Lord. God. Thank you, Lord. I am done. Praise Jesus, God. Uh, empty God. tomb. Yes. Keep going, cousins. What else do I have? Jesus paid it all. Mm. <laughs> Isaiah uh, 53 and 5. What else you got? Mm. He's not here. He is risen. Mm. Hallelujah. I mean, that's our message for today. Right. Yes. He's not here. He has risen. Yes, it is. That's of course, this is, a, yeah, this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. You see what he's doing? You see what yeah. the man is doing? He says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad yes. in it. That's what we need to do on a daily basis when Amen. we wake up. When we know he wakes us up, then he's keep, just get up and just greet him with open arms and say, Amen. thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to Rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. And I'm going to go and be a blessing. 
because yeah. you have blessed me and you know you, he's blessed you so much you have more blessings yes. than you have uh, things coming in oh, yeah. amen. amen so remember this amen so amen. once again God. if you have never accepted Jesus now is the yes. time yes. all you have to do is ask him you know yes. Lord I've sinned against you I repent come into my heart be my Lord and Savior and you know what you're born again because yeah. yeah. you're confessing with your mouth not with mine Yes. You're confessing with your mouth. Yes. Amen. And you're asking him to, to forgive you and come into come into your life. Amen. Yes. Amen. And be your Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes. If you said this, we believe you're saved. And you know what? Just get yourself to a Bible-based church where you can go and start reading the Word. Amen. Amen. Yes. And get around people that's going to encourage you and yes. uh, just bring you along and help you out, you know. Amen. And um, get you a Bible. Get a Bible. Um, you know, my first Bible, I think I read it, I bought it at the thrift store. <laughs> at a thrift store. It doesn't matter, no people give all these things away, you yeah. know, because they don't want them anymore. Yeah. Right? And yeah. You, can, you can get them anywhere. You know, it doesn't have to be a new one. Mm -hmm. But start reading it, amen? Start reading it. Yes. And you know, some of us that are listening, sometimes God wants us to bless somebody with a new Bible. Right. You know, bless them. Right. You know, hey. <laughs> He, he supplies all your needs, you know, yes. so it's going to cost you a few bucks, so what? Yes. Just go buy a Bible for somebody that says, yes. you know what? Lord wanted me to bless you with this, amen? Yes. And be a blessing, and don't yes. worry about that. Yes. You know, so praise God. And if you're hurting anywhere, you know, with this coronavirus or whatever, you know, just put your hand over your body, wherever you're hurting, yes. and, 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 and just say, Lord Jesus, I thank you that by your stripes, you know, mm -hmm. he went to the cross. He was beaten. He, the, those stripes that he took for us, you know. Yes. By those stripes, the Bible says he, we are healed. Yes. Amen. So, Lord. you know, whatever is hurting you, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Father, I just thank you that whoever is uh, hearing my voice or seeing me, we thank you that by Jesus' stripes, they are healed. Yes. Yes. From the crown of the head to the soles of their yes. feet, Father. Yes. And we just yes. thank yes. you Lord. that Jesus, by Jesus' stripes, they are healed. So body, yeah. line up with the word of God and be healed right now yeah. in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So before we let you go, <laughs> it's offering time. <laughs> it's giving time. So those of you that are watching and listening that would like to give your tithe or your offering, you can still do that. We thank you for helping us out during this trying time. Amen. You can go to the website, NBC, I think it's on, uh, you put it up there, come uh, NBC, NBC Big ben .com. Yeah. There's a donation button there, or you can just mail it to NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. Amen. So praise, praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. Again, we want to say thank you and yes. God bless you. Amen. So Amen. stretch your hands yes. and let's pray. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to give. Bless yes, the giver and the giver, so Father God. And we thank you that you opened the windows of heaven and poured us out a blessing we're not able to contain. And thank you for rebuking the divine for our sake, Father, yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So I don't know about you, Praise but I'm God. blessed. Uh, amen. <laughs> I receive. Amen. amen. Thank amen. you, Lord. Hallelujah.